Moving on to end-to-end -to -end testing, it's part of the implementation where you test the entire system flow from A to Z. It simulates uh, real-life scenarios and makes sure that all individual pieces of the Workday puzzle fit together. Typically, you'll need to test all the functional areas in Workday like HR, payroll, time tracking, benefits, recruiting, and then go through any customizations or integrations that were built. For example, you could test your hire process through termination. In this case, you'd start by hiring somebody through the external career site, which is recruiting, and then go through your hire BPs and then eventually work your way through termination. The goal here is to state what works and what's broken for your test team. It's important to note that during this process, it's really important to have a comprehensive test plan and strategy. This helps identify and address issues before the system goes live. You can get a test team involved as early as the discovery phase, and it's super critical to get them involved this early because they have a better understanding of what scenarios need to be created and what requirements are necessary for your implementation. So they'll be able to pinpoint the scenarios and the critical areas, uh, as well as identify the potential risk that maybe you don't see as the implementer. The other piece to know is you need a testing tool or somewhere to house your testing strategy, your testing documents, and have all your test scripts or test plans written out. In this testing tool, you will identify uh, the appropriate testers, give them the tests that they'll need to be running through to stay on target with your testing timeline, and you can leverage that testing tool as a living document to reference back to, to see what defects you have and what areas need fixing for the implementation team. In a nutshell, Workday end-to-end -end testing is a key to ensuring your HR and financial processes run like a well-oiled machine in preparation for go-live.